Hey guys, it's Chris Long, and today I was going to take this opportunity to show you something that I'm constantly trying to get my customers to understand when they call me on the phone about having a tow package put on their car. Today I'm working on a 2014 Subaru Outback, and this customer has had a towing package installed elsewhere um, at one of these discount houses that they're not really towing professionals, but they do trailer hitches and wiring on the side to supplement and augment their business. And at first, you would think, well, this looks pretty good because you've got the hitch kind of tucked up underneath the car and you got your nice little four-way plug here on a bracket and it looks all nice, neat, and clean, but it's not. Um, the way that they've done this wiring is kind of a, a puzzle to me because the Subaru actually gives you a receptacle that's provided from the factory behind the inside trim panel to plug a specialty harness to right here so that you get your left turn right turn tail light functions it even has an integrated uh, fuse connector uh, or a fuse holder uh, to protect the vehicle's wiring system and this power module uh, so that you don't have to run a 12 volt power line all the way to the front of the car but this company decided to do that uh, not only did they not use this plug right here to get those those circuits for their connector they ran the wire the power wire to the front of the vehicle underneath the car that's exposed in the weather and the elements and i'll show you this first you, you got the wires that come off here and they go up in behind the hitch and they come up behind the bumper covering up into that cavity it's kind of hard to see and where that ends up coming in up at is behind the tail light. They come up in behind this hole and they just use those good old fashioned 3M scotch lock connectors to clip into the wires. Now, those aren't good connectors, they're not bad connectors, but they're certainly not ones that you would want to use where the wires are exposed to the elements, which here they are, they're between the light and the body of the vehicle. And then not only that, but you have this real faulty ground that's not even tight. Uh, so when that walk, when that wire wobbles around it's going to make the lights on your trailer flicker so they didn't get their ground done very well and then the power wire that provides power to their power module box they got it ran um, through this hole right here and of course there's nothing protecting the wire from rubbing on that rough edge of the metal and it comes right here and runs very close to the uh to the exhaust pipe which gets very hot and it runs up in here right above that suspension yoke where it can get caught up and tangled up in that and then continues along up near the front of the car right alongside the catalytic converter and the exhaust pipe that gets very hot there eventually that's going to burn that wire off or that insulation off that wire and you're going to end up with a short look here you see it's it's just running right along here where it's up against it could be right up against that uh catalytic converter and then of course they run up into the engine compartment from underneath first of all this car didn't require that you didn't have to run a power wire the 12 volt auxiliary line is provided by subaru right here and the custom harness that's designed for the subaru incorporates it into the harness design one piece snap, no cutting, no splicing, no running of power wires. Now today we've got to replace this four-way plug with a seven-way plug because the trailer he's pulling is this little single axle camper type trailer that it doesn't have brakes or anything like that. It's very light. The Subaru can handle it. But uh, it does have these onboard batteries and we want to keep these charged up using the 12 volt auxiliary line. So I do have to run a power wire to the front of the vehicle. But instead of running it outside, what we're going to do is we're going to follow the factory harness along the thresholds up under the dash and through the firewall to the front of the car, to the battery. You'll see how they did this one. They came up right down here next to the steering knuckle. You can see the, the yoke right here of the steering shaft and the, the wires right next to that. So every time you make turns with the steering wheel, that's an invitation for that wire to get tangled up in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to come through this factory provided grommet right here in the in the in the firewall and make our connection to the battery for our 12 volt auxiliary 
Folks, do yourself a favor. When it comes time to get your towing package installed in your vehicles, especially these late year model ones that have sophisticated electronics and computer equipment that need to be protected, let a professional do that for you. This guy's going to spend more money in me taking the old harness and all that mess apart and doing this right than if he would have just done it right to begin with. So just wanted to point that out. There's definitely a wrong way to do these things. And um, just watch yourself. Just because a place puts on trailer hitches and wiring doesn't mean that they know the best way to do things. So hopefully that helps you out. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask, comments, put them down below. Uh, we're here to help you. We're here to make sure that your towing experience is as safe and as efficient as possible. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for listening.